What's going on guys? It's Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. Today we're doing a beard trim. And so I'm one of those guys, I like to change my beard style from time to time. Last time I got my beard trim was early February. I haven't touched it since then, almost two months now. I'm just ready for a change. I'm ready to go for something a little bit different. And so what I'm going for today, I'm gonna go, I wanna keep the mustache nice and thick. I'm trying to go, if you've ever heard of a guy, Jeff Buon Cristiano, I'll link his Instagram below. I'll link his YouTube channel as well. He's, he has a phenomenal beard. He's always been kind of my beard inspiration. Uh, but he, you know, he's had a longer beard. He's kept it shorter. I've always really liked that style uh, with kind of the heavier, thicker mustache and just shorter overall. I love that beard stash look, but I don't think I can take it down to stubble. Um, so we're going to have to definitely keep some type of beard. But hang with me. Probably going to be a long video. Um, I'll drop a link to all the products that I'm going to use below. Most mainly is going to be my Brio Beardscape trimmers. I'm um, also going to use this Kent comb a ton. I've got some beard and hair scissors here, as well as a handheld mirror. Those are going to be the main things we use. I've also got this barber comb. I don't know how much I'll use this. I've used it in the past, but we'll see. So let's get right into it. Again, I'm gonna kind of go down in length a few different times and just see what I like, see where we're at. Uh, primarily gonna be looking right here. Uh, I will try to look here as much as possible, but let's go ahead and get started. Got that Brio at that 70 RPM. And I'm gonna start by going down. It's been a long time since I trimmed my own beard. Uh, my barber and I were texting yesterday and yeah, I have his approval. He said, go for it. So let's see. So since I want to keep the mustache as thick as possible, I'm going to pinch. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is I actually styled my beard before I did this. So I threw in some oil and hit it with a blow dryer. But look at that, that's not bad. It definitely took maybe a half inch off just by taking some of that bulk out. This is kind of my crazy side. The hair is here and go like a really bad S curve. The key here is I definitely want to separate my mustache out. It's been a long time since I've done that. And I realize I'm dropping hair over all of my tools. It's a good thing I put a towel down to collect all this hair to make cleanup easy. One thing I also want to mention is I have the Brios all the way closed. You can adjust the clipper. So I'm just going to give that a good comb through. I always want to be checking my work. So that didn't really take much length off. That really just kind of thinned things out. So I would pretty like keep that like that and then let's take some length off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the clippers. And this is where it gets to be fun and a little nerve wracking. 
Always start shorter than what you want to actually do. Some hair is flying. Right, let's check our work. Another thing I always like to do is wear a white shirt. It really allows you to see where your beard it kind of makes your beard just stand out a little bit more. So, kind of funky there. I think I took a little bit of too much weight out. We'll see. I think I want to take more weight on the sides here out. So I had that on the 18 before. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna drop it, flip it over to the 15. We'll see what that looks like. Again, I told you guys, this is gonna be a long one. Definitely take your time when you're trimming your beard. The mustache is definitely starting to look bigger, which is a good thing. But I still think we can go a little bit shorter here. Can't give it a good comb through. Dude, this already is like so much shorter than it's been in a long time. I may go in and just freehand a little bit. Larry, if you're watching this, you're probably cringing. That's my barber. Or Bob the Barber down in Austin. Checking this out, you might be cringing too. <laughs> Now you guys definitely gotta give me a thumbs up on this video for having the guts to do this. Kidding. Probably get a thousand thumbs down for trimming my beard. I did take a poll though on Instagram and like 81% of you said try a shorter look. 
So. I'm kind of digging this. I think I want to take some more bulk out of this the sides here, but I think the stash is looking good. All right, so we did a 15 the last time. Y'all gotta look at this. I look like Harry and the Hendersons. All right, so let's see what's next. We've got 15, we can drop down to a 12. So let's start with that. Ooh. Always keep in mind, take a look at those arrows. I almost dropped down to a, a nine. You know, I was kind of scared to trim my beard. I've been growing it for a little bit and you know, obviously you guys know me by my beard. So it's always a little bit hectic to, to think about changing your appearance, but I don't know, just ready for something a little bit shorter, a little bit, you know, different. Um, I've had a longer beard for a while now off my face and, you know, I just want to rock something a little bit different. I'm kind of digging this. I thought I might have apprehension right away, but no, not so far. So I'm trying to keep that thick. I see that hair. What do y'all think? Keep on going? Yeah, I think we should. Also tempted to take that 18 and go straight up. That's gonna take off too much. I can already see where I've kind of thinned it out maybe a little bit too much in there. But again, it's gonna grow back. My beard grows pretty quick. That's why I was like, I'm gonna experiment with this. And it still looks like from the side, I don't know. But it still looks like a nice full beard. I'm gonna go down a little bit more on the cheeks. You know what? Let's try that 18. I just threw the 18 back on. I'm just gonna see. See how many comments I get about my funny lip gestures on Cohen. So my biggest tip, constantly comb things out, see where they're laying. Yeah, I think I might take that 18 up. Ooh, that 
that's short. Do y'all see that? Thinking that might have been a mistake, but. I think we'll leave the front alone and kind of just freehand that so it doesn't get too short. Getting a little shorter than I thought. <laughs> but change is good, guys. It's good to change up your style. Don't always have the same. I think we'll take the guard off, do a little bit more freehanding in the front here. I still want a little bit of bulk here to kind of give my face some length. That's what I'm looking for, the bigger mustache with a kind of So stop there, take a break, take a look. Comb it out. Got a patch in my beard I never knew about right there. <laughs> Just toss the brios, let's hope they still work. There you go, good quality trimmers, you can toss them. Tighten that line up a little bit.
But the key to all this is just small strokes. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm digging that. I could probably go a little bit shorter in here if I wanted to, but I kind of want to keep that a little bit of that bulk there. This side is usually my problem side. So I do want to take a little bit of bulk right here. I feel like we could go a little bit shorter in there and they kind of start to fade up. So I hit that with the 18 last time. We're just going to go with the 15 and just go on down. When I say 15, I'm talking millimeters. There's numbers on all these guards here. So I'm just kind of starting my fade at the bottom, of my earlobe. With a bigger beard, I don't start that low. I kind of start right there. So again, let's comb it through, see what it looks like. Surprisingly, I've not made too much of a mess. Everything's like right here. Yeah, I like that. This one side is... Keep that thick mustache. I'm about to start shaving under here again. So... That was the 15, let's drop down to that 12. Okay, and double check your make, putting the right size guard on. Can't believe I did this. All right, let's reverse that guard down to the nine and get into our fade. Now, another thing with the Brio is I can actually adjust the clipper down. So I'll do that to get a little bit longer in here. So that'll help with the fading. the next one we're doing here I typically hit that with like a one or a zero so we got a six I 
Again, I'm gonna drop the blade all the way down so it's like a six and a half. And you'll notice I'm getting a little bit higher each time I go in. So that was a six and a half, and I'm gonna drop it down to a full six. looking at is this area in here it was really puffing out before and just kind of bothering me on the, both these sides so so that was the six we'll drop it to a three Then we are going to go to a two and then a one. Flip that around to our one. A lot better. And then I'll actually take this off, I drop it like one button down and just take kind of the edge of it. Fade brushes are pretty nice. Yeah, that'll work. Do want to take a little bit? You guys can see it's a little rounded. When I do that, I get that. take a little bit of that edge. See, I just knocked a little bit of that harsh angle off. I always remember I got like the divot in my beard now. My beard naturally does that there. 
So I'm gonna hit it with some scissors next. Just kind of refine it. With these, I'm not trying to take too much off. Just trying to get rid of some of the sharp edges from the clippers. All you barbers out there probably cringe. I should be saying shears, shears. And this is also when you're growing out a mustache and you want it to really pop, you want to get under here a little bit. So when you're pulling and styling your mustache, these hairs aren't necessarily being pulled up with it. Trying to blend this a little bit where I went with the clippers up to where I didn't touch them here. Anytime you trim something, it's a little hard to trim at first because you know you're getting some hair in there. Again, I'm not trying to take too much off here. You guys tired of seeing the top of my head when I look down? <laughs> Man, that feels weird. I feel like I take a little bit there. We'll see. Now, this is one of those things, I'll probably come at this tomorrow again, just to see if there's anything that needs to be trimmed. I feel like I've got a good handle on it. Let's see, this is the brush I normally use to style my beard with. It's full of my hair now, it's been sitting under here. See the difference in length there, you can tell. See how it's short and then it goes real long right there.
This is probably as short as my beard has been, about two years. Guys, I think we're almost there. I want to stop before I go too far. Now, I've got a bunch of flyaways on my mustache, but I'm trying to let that grow out a little bit. But I will probably clean that up and just even that all out eventually. look I like it it's shorter without being too short I'll probably go ahead and get cleaned up, shave my neckline or my cheeks, my neck, and I'll get some pictures up on Instagram of what this looks like. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, at no BS beard reviews, if anyone's still watching this, I don't know how far in are we, 37 minutes? Yeah, none of y'all are watching this, but <laughs> I'm kidding. Give me a thumbs up though, if you still are. I do appreciate it. As always, guys, God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.